let's hit the waiver wire and the Pirates bullpen up next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5. As always, make sure to follow and stream us on Spotify. Today is Thursday, August 4th. I am Frank Sample, joined by Chris Towers, and we'll start off with some of those waiver wire hitters, in particular, some outfielders. Andrew McCutcheon went two for four with two doubles and his eighth steal. He is 60% rostered. Trey Mancini, first game with the Astros, hit his 11th home run of the season. He's going to love it there. 74% rostered for him. Jared Kelnick went one for four with his fourth home run, came off of Garrett Cole. And then Alec Thomas had a big game as well. He had a double and hit his eighth home run off of Shane Bieber. How do you rank these four, Chris? McCutcheon, Mancini, Kelnick, and Alec Thomas. You know, I, I suppose it depends on a little bit where your team is and what format you're playing in, obviously. But I generally tend to prefer upside when I'm chasing on the waiver wire. And I think Alec Thomas uh, has the most of it with the power speed combo. There's, you know, some really interesting things that he's done this season. He's shown the ability to hit the ball hard. He's shown, you know, speed. Um, so I would go with him first. And then I think Trey Mancini, I agree. Houston's going to be very, very good for him. You know, that that pull heavy swing that he has Baltimore moving the fences back really hampered him I think he's going to play very well in Houston the rest of the season I think Kalanick versus McCutcheon is an interesting one because McCutcheon is someone who is probably best suited for points leagues with his approach you know walks a good amount still doesn't hit a ton of home runs but hits extra bases um Kalanick, look it's again it's just chasing upside there you know he, he's showing potential He's also striking out a lot. He only had two swinging strikes against Garrett Cole today, so that's a good sign. But, you know, I think it kind of depends on what you need. If you need a starter, Andrew McCutcheon's going to be a better option than Jared Kelnick right now. If you're just chasing upside, Jared Kelnick's the guy I want. All right, let's talk about Mel Miguel Vargas, who made his debut on Wednesday. He was the DH for the Dodgers, batting seventh in their lineup, and he went two for four with a double, two RBI, also uh, stole third base. Did not have a single strikeout, and the double that he hit was 106 miles per hour off the bat, 396 feet. He's 33% rostered, widely available is Miguel Vargas. Uh, Chris, what do you think about him, and where do you plan to slot him into the rankings, third base rankings, like the Cabrian Hayes, Josh Donaldson area? Does that make sense for Vargas? Yeah, I think like 20-ish. I would be fine dropping Josh Donaldson for him in a points league. I would be fine dropping someone like Patrick Wisdom or Eugenio Suarez if you've got them on your roster. So, you know, I think that's the late teens kind of range. Even Max Muncy, I'd be fine dropping for Miguel Vargas. That being said, I'm not necessarily sure Miguel Vargas is going to be a, a must-start player for you the rest of the season. I'm, I'm a little more bearish on him than I think you and especially Scott are. Um, you know, I know Scott had him as the number seven prospect in his mid season update. I think Vargas, like the minor league numbers are really, really strong. I think there are some questions about the raw power and the upside. And this is a Dodgers team that has been more than happy to call up prospects and either send them right back down if they're not hitting right away or just not play them every day, but keep them on the roster. And I think that's the concern here. He's only got five games next week. So Probably can't start him there just because he's not guaranteed to play every game, even if he does stay up. So Miguel Vargas, someone I, I do want to add, but not necessarily if I need immediate impact help. A few other prospects were recalled by their respective teams here. The Royals second base prospect, Michael Massey, he was having a big season in the minors. 312 batting average, 16 homers, 13 <clears throat> steals. He's only 4% rostered. And then Reds prospect, Jose Barrero, uh, in the minors this season, not hitting well, 209, but did have nine homers, five steals in 55 games. Chris, let's say you play in a deeper league and you're looking for a middle infielder with upside. Who do you like between these two, Massey and Jose Barrero? I mean, I think in a, in a long-term sense, Barrero probably has more upside physically. He's just a, you know, a, a better prospect in that regard. But Michael Massey's been a lot more productive. I think Barrero has struck out 89 times in 54 games in the minors this season. So, yeah, it's been oh. quite alarming to go with the 209 average. That's how you get a 209 average in the minors. Um, Massey, there are questions about, like, the physical skill set and, and how projectable he is. But all he's done is hit a 900 OPS over the past two seasons. 
I think there's a chance that he comes up and, you know, has five homers and five steals and hits for a decent average the rest of the way. I think he could be a, a middle infield type in a 12-team roto. The big news of the day was David Bednar was placed on the IL with lower back inflammation. And Chris, let's just say you need to replace him. Do you think it will be Will Crow for the team or maybe Yeri De Los Santos? Yeah, De Los Santos has gotten a couple save opportunities when Bednar has been unavailable this season. So I would hope it's him. I'm not exactly sure, you know, Crow getting the save Tuesday, how much that changes that. It's a bad team. I'm not sure either of these pitchers is a difference maker. So I'm okay going with De Los Santos. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, your smart speakers, or anywhere else podcasts are found. And thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. We'll be back again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.